I am Erin Barrett, um, and I am an oil painting still life painter. You know, I have done art my whole life. Um, I was just always drawing and doodling um, watercolor classes as a young person, and then really great elementary to, to high school and college teachers uh, kind of fostered that in me, and I, it's what I've always wanted to do, and I had no plan B, so I'm really glad this is working out. I just always wanted to be an artist, and here I am. As a young person, I did only like watercolors, pastels, acrylics, and then I got to art school at the University of Utah, and that was frowned upon. Yeah, it was oil painting. Um, so I immediately switched, and I have now never switched back. So that was it. I graduated in 1998, so it's been a long time oil painting, but I'm a huge fan. I love how it feels and smells and reacts, and I get the right colors I want and everything. Oh, it's pretty clear. Um, I, uh, t I quit my job to be a painter and try it, but I didn't have a big body of work. So I took about a year and just painted. No shows or sales or anything, just painted. And then I applied for the Utah Arts Festival and I got in and it was time to set up and I was just, I was just sick. I just, and I was hoping for like a car accident or something, nothing to kill me, but just enough to where I couldn't do it, but it wasn't my fault. I hadn't backed out, you know, so wishing for that. And then I just set up and finally did it. And I told my husband, like, what if I don't sell anything? What if nobody likes it? What if I'm just so doubting? And I sold something immediately, like just right away. And I went behind the tent and called him and said, I'm going to be okay. And then like basically sold out, won best of show. And it's just been on and on and on since then. So I feel like I was validated pretty quickly and I, lucky me. Probably if they just connect to it in some way. Um, and my, my objects kind of are connectable. You know, people can have memories with my things pretty easily. There's some nostalgia and happiness and things like that. But when, when someone comes in and it means something to them, that is a huge compliment. Um, almost more than this is so wonderfully painted. I mean, that's not terrible. But, but if someone loves the painting and they've connected to it and it means something to them, that is a really special thing to be a part of. You know, I, my ideas just come from everywhere. Oftentimes I'll get a commission from somebody, they'll have an idea of, you know, paint my cowboy boots. And I liked that painting so much that I borrowed their spurs and painted their spurs from that. And then uh, that got me on like kind of a metal reflective kick. And so I started doing um, chrome things and then and then the ideas are just coming and snowballing off of each other and then things in glass bowls and then glass bottles and then like it's pretty simple but it, it, it just flows and I've got a huge idea file that has hundreds of images in it and you just need something new open that file and you'll be inspired and start something pretty quick. So I can see the painting in my mind before I start it, and that's, that usually makes a good painting if I can already see it in advance. Um, I know what mood I want it to have, so that sets the background color. Do I want it to feel cheerful? Do I want it to feel nostalgic? Do I want it to feel young or playful? Um, those decisions are made, and then to execute it, I start, I go big to small, and we're talking small, like all the way down to like a quarter inch brush stroke. Um, and I just make mark after mark after mark until it starts to come alive on the canvas. And if you stand back and you can, if it's reading clearly, then you just have to decide when to stop. And hopefully you stop at exactly the right time, which is the biggest mystery of all. So first, like for family and friends, I've, it's so hard to explain until you see it. So I'm like, just come, just come see it. And you'll be like, oh, because it's really hard to explain. A, a long show like this, that it's, it's a slower pace. It's way more intimate, way more connections. And people are not hurried. They're taking their time getting to know you. And, and people will come back and say like, oh, how's that peppermint piece you were working on? I'm like, oh, let me show you how it is. Like, it's just this, it's intimate and wonderful. And I would tell another artist to do it just because you're connecting with people all day long. And people walk by and say nice things all day long. Like it's just really validating and fulfilling and rewarding. I have, I have loved it. I have really loved it. So just come. <laughs>